Okay guys, I'm getting ready for the gym and I thought that I would put together a quick video of tips and tricks that I've used to help potty train my two year old boy, which is 10 times, 10 times harder than potty training a girl, at least in my experiences. Ira, which one do you want? That one, okay, take it. So my first tip is to buy a bunch of underwear that are bright in color with some of their favorite characters so then that they can pick every day what underwear they want to wear to try to keep, keep clean. So Ira has like Cookie Monster, Mickey is his absolute favorite which is why he picked the Mickey ones. Um, these have like sharks on them in the days of the week. That's one of the tricks. So colorful underwear with their favorite characters. Tip number one. You don't potty or poo-poo on Mickey, right? So you're gonna keep Mickey dry, right? Yes. And you're gonna go potty and poo-poo in the toilet? Yes. Okay. Good job. Thumbs up. Do a good job. Yay. My second tip is at home to get him comfortable with walking up to the toilet and sitting on it. I got this thing from Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. So he literally goes up to it and he'll stand or he'll turn around and do his thing. So that's my next tip. This thing is a lifesaver. Do not do the potty. I, I did a, the potty did not work with him. Isla was a different story. The potty worked perfectly for her, but for him, it doesn't work. Oh wow, let me see. So my next tip is you do want to get them fully clothed so that they can get used to the process of pulling down the pants and going to the potty or telling you that they have to go to the potty. He's waiting for his socks. <laughs> what do you say? Potty. <laughs> let me hear you say potty. Can I hear you say potty? Uh, uh. But are you going to tell your teacher? Uh, uh. You're not? You gotta keep Mickey clean. You gotta keep Mickey dry. He's gonna cry. Okay? Okay. Keep Mickey dry, okay? Keep Mickey dry? Yes. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, we gotta go. See you later, mama. Okay, you keep Mickey dry for mommy. Hey. <laughs> okay, so his teachers already know to take him to the potty every 20 to 25 minutes. I got a ton of messages after sharing my little short story on Instagram and my, I think I shared it on my YouTube story as well, but we look like, we're looking like we have Ira potty trained. As long as his school sticks to our methods, it's gonna work. So I took down a few notes so I won't forget anything. Okay, so some mommy and daddy tips that you need to know is, one, you need to know your child's personality. Um, with this method or with potty training period, there's gonna be a ton, a ton of trial and error. But you need to know your child's personality. For Isla, she's one who loves the camera, she loves people, she loves attention, positive reinforcement, she eats it up. She loves it. So for her, what I did was, when we were potty training, I just put her potty inside of like my toilet stall and we would go together. Every time that I had to go, she would come with me. And she loved that idea of, let me go to the potty with mommy, like let me be like mommy. and us doing it together she just picked up on it and she was potty literally I want to say before two years old I, I believe she was potty before two years old but yeah she loved that idea of being able to go with mommy what I also did with her which I'm gonna insert pictures here was we did like a sticker chart so every time she would go pee or poo we would put stickers on the sticker chart and she loved that idea of okay I went to go pee or poo let me put my sticker on so if she would go a number two then we would put two stickers on and she just she just she just loved it not only that but she would also love to take 
pictures with her little business. She, I don't know, she just liked to take pictures like, I did it, I did it. And yeah, it worked. It was just like stickers, pictures, boom, potty train. Ira, no. I tried the same sticker method with Ira, which I'm gonna show you right now. This is the potty training sticker chart. I actually got this from Amazon. If you want to try this method, by all means, give it a shot. Again, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error and you just have to know your child. So I tried this sticker chart with Ira and he just was not here for it. It did nothing for him. But what does work for my child? He loves to be bribed with things. He loves food. He's a foodie. So I stock up the fridge on all his favorite snacks, whether it be frozen yogurt, um, if your kid likes blueberries, they're positive reinforcement. So if they go pure poo, you make sure that you have that as their reward. Um, that's what he does look forward to. It might be a cookie. It might be um, so a, Reese, a small mini Reese's cup. I know yeah. it's bad to give them candy. Um, you can do sugar-free candy. There's gluten-free suckers. It's so much little treats and things that you can think of to help that child know that, ooh, if I go, then I'm gonna get this. It works. So if he goes number two, he gets a frozen yogurt, which he thinks is like ice cream. So he loves that. So again, treat, bribing, it works. Hands down, it works. Another thing that I would say is for Ira, it, he doesn't like positive reinforcement. So he kind of gets shy and shut down if you kind of like, oh, oh, you did this, you did this. Good job, good job. But do it anyway. Because them just knowing that you're proud of them, it boosts their confidence, it boosts their self-esteem, and they know that they're go doing a good job. Anytime that they feel like they're taking on a responsibility, it makes a little kid feel so good. Like today I just keep telling him before he left out for school you gotta keep Mickey clean you gotta keep Mickey clean you can't get him wet you can't get him dirty you have to keep him clean and him just hearing that and knowing that he has a job it makes him feel good so try that another thing that I would say is keeping clothing on them so I can tell you guys that again I been through this I've had plenty of trial and error I started early because I heard that boys are much harder than girls um, in the beginning I would allow him to just be completely naked and just go to the potty when he needed to you saw the stepping stool that he uses so it's not like he needed the assist but he would just go and when I mean he would just go he would just go and not tell us anything so the next thing you know I would see little shit streaks on my on my couch and stuff and I'm like ah! so that was what I learned you have to have to keep them on a piece of clothing so that they can tell you so for me I've been doing because he doesn't really like clothing in the house so I'll do his underwear and a shirt but a shirt that's short enough where I can still see his underwear and be able to monitor if those underwear are wet or not or I can just check it with the back of my hand if they're wet or not but Luckily, no problems because when he has on those underwear, he has to come and tell me because he can't pull them down all the way to go poor pee. So, also come up with a keyword. So, I noticed for Ira, he calls everything boo boo. I boo boo. I boo boo. Actually, that was one of my first signs that he was ready to go because he would tell me, I boo boo. Okay, you saying you boo booing the pull up? It's time to go to the bathroom. But he knew how to connect boo boo. And it's in my pull-up, so I, I, I need to be changed. Another thing that I knew that he was ready to go was when my first test was at nap time. For the first time ever, I had taken him off a of pull-up. And, oh, I do want to add that, too. With knowing their personality and things, and with my trial and error, I, I wish that I would not have went to pull-ups. I wish that I would have did like Isla where I went from diapers to underwear. I wish for him that I wouldn't have did pull-ups because he still thinks, I mean like it's easy to disconnect that once I have that cotton feeling on that I can still go because a pull-up is much like a diaper, you know what I mean? So 
me personally, I would just say skip the pull-ups. If I could do it all over, I would go straight from diaper to underwear. So uh, as a mom, I'm telling you guys, I believe the best advice is to go from diapers to underwear. Diapers to underwear. Skip the pull-up phase. Save you the hassle. Another reason I knew that he was ready to go at nap time, if your child can remain dry for at least an hour to an hour and a half, they're ready to be potty drained because that means that they can hold it. They can control it. They are ready to be potty drained. When he stayed dry throughout his nap time, I'm like, okay, it's go time. We got to do this. We can do it. Mommies, if you're not ready to give it your all, if you're going to half ass this, don't do it. Don't do it because if you're going to do this, you have to be consistent and you have to be consistent for at least, at least a week. For me, what we do is every 20 to 25 minutes, I take him to the potty, whether he does something or doesn't. Sometimes he'll beat me to it and he'll go. I also got word that he now tells his teacher, which I'm going to put right here, that he has to go to the potty. Another thing is make sure that for boys that they're practicing both ways. So standing and sitting. I remember asking around and I heard one mom saying that she refused to teach her boys how to go potty. She made the dad teach them. Well, for me, that doesn't work because my son is a mommy's boy. Again, you have to know your kid's personality. He listens to everything that mommy says and he's a little bit more rebellious with Chris. So I think it's only right that the parent who they listen to the most gets the job. And especially if you're going to be consistent and stick with it. So I would say definitely go with the parent who's going to be consistent, stern, and sticking with it. So again, do not start something you cannot finish. This potty training is not easy. It's exhausting. It's draining. But it will be worth it if you want to get those babies out of diapers or pull-ups. My grandma last year, he was just one, and she was trying to get him potty trained. She said she would make him sit on the potty for hours. Well... That backfired and he ended up hating the potty, like literally refused to sit on it because she would make him sit on it for hours. And that is torture, guys. I don't care what anybody says, but man, anything 30 minutes, that is too long. One, their attention spans are crazy short. You know what I mean? If you take them enough, they'll get the hang of it and they'll keep going. Do not force them to sit for hours. Again, they're going to resent it. They're going to hate it and they're going to dread going to the potty. So again, we have the colorful underwear. We have a, a toilet seat that is comfortable for them, whether it be a potty, a grown-up potty, or like the step in to the potty, the stepper up to the potty. Um, a key word that you want to adjust with your child. So whether it be poo, pee, potty, bathroom, something establish a keyword with your child make sure that they have an underwear that they are happy about something with their favorite characters make sure you have positive reinforce reinforcement whether it be stickers encouraging words um candy yogurt whatever fruit their favorite juice whatever you need to do give it to them if you want to take pictures along the way for you so that you can show them later on in life and remember that phase in that time but also consistency 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 and go hard like you have to stick with it you have to go hard once you start do not stop it's gonna work in this process you're definitely gonna know what works and what doesn't work for your child so those are my advice let me know if you have any questions let me know if I did not touch on anything and I'll try to add it in the comments and yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck. And those are my tips and tricks. And again, anything that I mentioned in the video, I'm going to try to link it in the description box. So make sure you read that. Yeah, we got this. Like, I think I touched on everything. If I have not, I'm going to put it a voiceover or something. I got to get to the gym, y'all. Okay.